Hey, Kelsey here, and today we're going to make an SVG from a coloring page. So we're going to start by just Googling free coloring pages, but you can do this with whatever you need to make. So that includes any characters that you're trying to design. You're going to copy your image and then paste it into Inkscape. I will link below to their website. It is a free design software. We are going to first start out by going to path and hit trace bitmap. When you do this, I don't change the settings. You want to be on single scan, brightness cutoff, and then we're going to adjust the brightness threshold, but we first have to preview the image. So you're going to hit update, and as you can see, the lines are pretty dark. If you change this to something lower, they're going to fade down a little bit. And obviously, if you go higher, they're going to be thicker and darker. So it just depends on what you're looking for and what you need, depending on the image. So I'm going to change mine to 0.55 so that I can get all of the outlines around those dots on his back. I'm going to hit update. And then you're going to want to hit OK. That's tracing the outline. Then you're going to close this out, the top red X on my Mac. And now I can pull this out. And technically, this is already an SVG. So we could upload this into Cricut Design Space and have an outline. So we can delete our other picture or what we copied. And now we can make it bigger. I don't like to start by making it bigger because the image can get kind of skewed. So now we have our outline of our SVG. The next part is to break it down and make it into different colors so that when we upload it to Cricut, we can cut it with vinyl or paper and all of the layers will be separated by color. So I'm going up to path again while I have it highlighted and I'm gonna hit break apart. Now you can see the image is completely black. Each one of those pieces in that image now is an individual piece. So if you uploaded this to Cricut, you'd have about a million pieces all in black um, that we'd have to change the color to. But all of those pieces from the coloring page are now included here. So now it is time to color those pieces and link them together. So when we upload it to our design space, it is all broken down the way we want it. So we are not going to move anything. And the first thing I want to do is change that big piece that's in the back to a lighter color. And you're going to send it to the back if it's not already there with this button up top. Now it is gray and I can see all of the other pieces on top in black. And now it's time to start changing colors to what we want them to be. Your color choices are all at the bottom and you can scroll to the right for more. So I'm clicking on all the pieces while holding shift to gather the ones I want to be the same color. So I am grabbing them. They are all highlighted as you can see with the dotted line around them. I'm going back up to path at the top and I'm going to go to union. This changed back to black, so I'm gonna change it to green. Now those three pieces are one piece and they are all green. So now if you notice, we have these black dots on top and we have his eye that is one big black dot. Underneath those, there are the smaller dots inside. So we actually need to take all of these black that are the outline and we have to delete them into that green. So I'm going to grab all of the black dots that are the outline. So not his feet or his toes, just these here. And I'm going to, again, union them first. If you try to delete them before you union them, they just disappear and you don't want that. So anything that has an outline, I'm going to union. I'm going to select now that black and the green that we used and I'm going to do difference. Now that removed the black from the green and now you can see all of your items have that gray outline. We will be changing the gray color at the very, very end. I'm gonna do the same with this little black piece in between his legs and the background. That way there's a space in between his legs. So now the rest of this is just what we were doing before. Unioning what we want together to be the same color so that when you send it to your Cricut, it's all on the same mat. And also when you union these pieces, it's going to group them together so that when you cut it, it's all cutting in that same shape. So those dots aren't going to change where they are. They're going to stay together. So once I union all of these dots, I'm gonna change the color again. Union, 
I see I'm missing a dot right here, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and add in a dot with the circle on the left and just change that color, move it around to make sure it fits. And then I'm gonna union that to these black dots as well, path union. And now we can go ahead and change the color finally. And then we're gonna work our way through the rest of the image, unioning and changing the colors. This is a great way to start learning how to make SVGs, breaking down coloring pages, because it's showing you the basis of how they're made. So I'm unioning all of these, changing the colors. It's that simple, really. And then breaking apart or uh, making a difference into what you want your picture to look like. So now I'm going to finish up with his eyes. That's our last piece. And truly the best way to learn this is to make the mistakes and grow from them. You'll see when things don't look right and you'll be like, oh, for next time, I know I need to fix that. So now we want to go over and make sure that we didn't miss any small little bits that might have gotten caught. So I'm just going to use my mouse and make small little rectangles to make sure there are no outliers. You'll know if you have an outlier because a very, very small box will show up and you won't be able to link it to any colors or any other pieces and you can just delete those. They're small pieces that got caught when breaking down the coloring page. So luckily in this one, I didn't find any outliers. So now we're going to change the back of him from that gray color to black. You can leave it this gray color and then just change it in Cricut Design Space. It really doesn't matter. But now all of our layers are complete. So you can go ahead and save this file and then we can send it over to our Design Space. When you save, you just wanna make sure you're saving as a .svg file. So now we're going to upload this to Cricut Design Space. And I'm gonna do this relatively quickly because it's nothing different than uploading any sort of SVG that you've bought or that is on Design Space already. And as you can see, all of the colors are separated. So now we're gonna build him. I cut mine out in paper. And again, I'm doing this really quickly because once you've made the SVG, you're uploading it into Cricut Design Space and using it just like you would with any SVG. It's just now you made it yourself. So. I made mine with glitter paper. I used a little bit of vinyl for the small bits and I'm just gluing everything down. I'm using Barely Arts glue and I am going to drop a link and a discount code in the information below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy crafting.